All right, so this is a tray setup for simple extraction. So we are always going to start with our anesthetic topical. We have our anesthetic needle. We have our cartridge and we have two needles. This one is a short needle, which is blue. This one is a long needle, which is yellow. The yellow one goes from the temporal mandibular joint to the midline. So we only use a long needle if we are doing an extraction or fillings on the lower. Um, in our basic simple extraction, we always have a basic in setup, which is our mirror, explorer, and cotton pliers. We also have the most important instrument on our tray, which is called the periosteal elevator. This periosteal elevator, and the reason that it's most important is that the doctor uses this instrument first to move the gum tissue away from the tooth in order to re reduce and release the periodontal ligament. We have three elevators, small, medium, and large. And you're probably saying to yourself, how do I know if they're small, medium, and large? because of the head on it. So you can see this one is small, this one is a little bit bigger, and this one is quite bigger. This elevator is called the back action elevator. So you can see by the curve of this that it is completely different than this elevator, which is straight. Back action, straight. This is our forcep, or one of our forceps. This is normally used on the mandibular, but it can also be used on the maxillary. This is called the cow horn. This is another forcep, which is called the rangeur. This rangeur in your instrument book will say that it is used to remove tissue from the alveolar ridge. I have seen doctors use this to do extractions, especially on the anterior because of the design of it, it's easier to grab. This is a retraction device. It is called the Minnesota. This retracts the cheek and the tongue while the doctor is in there doing the extraction. We also have a surgical suction. And as you can see, the surgical suction has a small hole in it compared to our high volume suctions. This is called the Monoject syringe. This syringe is an irrigating syringe. Normally, it would be loaded either with a saline solution or an antimicrobial solution, which is called uh, chlorhexidine. Chlorhexidine or saline would be put into the syringe, and then this would be injected into the socket and suctioned out with our suction tip. We also have our gauze, which is our two by twos. It is folded into a little square, it's put in the patient's mouth, and they bite down on it. This is a complete, simple extraction tray. The only thing that changes on this tray is the forceps that you're going to use. And because it would be different if you're doing an anterior or a primary tooth, that is really the only instrument on here that would change is the forcep. Never open up all these instruments until you know you're going to use them because you don't want to have to re-sterilize them.